Welcome to On Air with Cash. Our guest today is the founder and CEO of the cinematic social network Real World. Please welcome Jan Lucanis. Hey guys. Thank you so much for having me, Cash. Jan, it is such a pleasure to have you on the show. I know we got to hang out a little bit, party up in this mansion, and you were telling me about your new app. And, and you punched me in the face. Well, you asked me to. You said it was all... <laughs> You're an innovator. You're an inspiration. How did this idea to come up with Real World come about? Uh, you know, there are many whys, so I, I always say that. But uh, for those that don't know, Real World is a cinematic social network where anything you post is part of a movie or a show that we're making as a community. And our very first show, uh, Justice for Hire, went viral on TikTok, got like 7.5 million views. And we have a global cast of people doing this with us, creating their own characters, making scenes, and then the app helps tie those scenes together and expand the storyline. Growing up at Marvel was a big catalyst for this. My dad is a comic book critic and writer. His uh, mentor was the editor-in-chief of Marvel, Jim Shooter. And my uh, dad kind of followed Jim around when he left Marvel to Valiant and to, then went to started Defiant and uh, then uh, started Broadway Comics. So, you know, I, I skipped around to these companies and was always watching people manage thousands of characters. My dad wrote a Silver Surfer novel when I was a kid, spent two years on it. And he introduced a bunch of new characters. This was like a pretty, it was a pretty big deal uh, because he was really doing his best to bridge uh, like certain ideas of spirituality and character and growth uh, at, at a time when, when um, you know, it, it, it wasn't the cool thing to do, you know, necessarily. But at the end of the day, Marvel did not publish that book because he introduced characters outside of the Marvel way of doing it. And I watched my dad essentially be depressed for, for a bit. Like he, he shifted, his energy shifted. And I said to myself that anyone should be able to contribute to their favorite stories. And I remember saying that in a comic book shop uh, when I was 10. And I didn't realize for, for years uh, that that was a, you know, an underlying motivator for my love of ensembles, um, of bringing lots of different people from all different walks of life together and how that level of ensembles really translated into saying, Hey, I want to make a show with everybody around the world. Like who, who wants to be in it? <laughs> Let's go. And there was just no platform to do that. And so we built it. We're like, Hey, let's, let's make something where we can just make stuff together as a community. And, um, you know, we, we, we stand on the shoulders of, of great companies that have done, uh, you know, aspects of collaborative, you know, productions in the past, like hit record from Joseph Gordon Levitt and, and, uh, even Legion M, um, and, uh, you know, both of whom, um, both of those entities have, have given us some wonderful support. So, um, so yeah, that, that's one of the whys there's many whys, but that's one of them. Uh, just seeing dad be upset and, uh, mm -hmm. wanting everyone to feel good. Like I said, we got to interact at a really cool party. It was movie night. And we had the equipment, we made a fun little uh, thing for Justice for Hire. So your average consumer who's interested in joining your cast, how can they be a part of your project? So there's a few ways. One, you can join the cast for free right from your phone at justiceforhire.app. And that is, it's a progressive web app, which means you can, you don't have to download it. You can just use it right from your phone, um, right from your uh, browser and your phone. And you can save it to your phone, but um, you don't have to download an app. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you can also uh, check out what we're doing with real world and actually own part of our company. Our next step is to offer our tools to anybody who wants to make their own movie or show with the community. And we want to do that freely and openly. So we are on WeFunder expanding our patent pending technology and our a team and anybody can invest in us and own part of what we're doing. So that's wefundercom slash real world. That's uh, R E E L W U R L D. And we're, really, really focused on community ownership. We, we you know, I, I've gotten pushback from producers and studios when I say this, which is that everyone owns their own IP. Like this isn't Facebook. This isn't like, you know, you put it up here and we, we just like leverage it without you. It's like, you own your character, you own your scenes and your storyline. And uh, when you, you know, put stuff on our platform, the concept is that we're, we're all working together to, to like grow your ip and everyone else's ip um so we have like a non-exclusive license to to uh help do that and if it's monetized you make money 
you know, <laughs> like okay. anything that has profit, like, you know, we're, we are sharing all those profits. So it's, it's a big part of uh, community ownership is a major. What else do you and your company have coming up? So this weekend, we have our biggest event ever. And that is Saturday, our bunch of events and screenings. And we'll be doing a Justice for Hire event where many of our community members will be coming down. People are flying in, flying across the country to be at Justice for Hire's first, like, panel. I mean, Jen, I really, I'm, I'm stoked for you and see how you engage, you get people involved. I know that you're very passionate about this. You have a background in comics and martial arts. Is there anything that you would like to say to your fans out there? Uh, yeah, I'll say this, that, that like right now I am driving around daily in an Uber and it's an Uber rental, which I'm in right now uh, to get the word out. So every day, even if I only do one ride, I go and I pass one of these out. I'm out of postcards, but this is a little QR code. Um, and like, this is, this is really being built by hand in terms of, uh, every person better. And so it's like, it's a magical experience. I'm so grateful, um, to be in Hollywood sharing this idea, uh, after having pitched every major studio on it and, um, and yeah, deeply grateful to have met you, man. So, you know, and thank you for being in the cast too. Cash is on the app, so you can find them. <laughs> Check it out. We, we throw down a stole a purse and you punch ninja him in the stole, face. Ninja stole the purse. I go after the ninjas. I love it. Oh my gosh, Jen. You know, I'm so glad that we connected as well, too. I'm so happy for you and pumped for your company. You rock it this weekend. Uh, we got to meet up and throw some more ideas around when you get to LA. Everyone, give it up for Jan Lucanis. He's the CEO of Real World. Get on the app. Join Justice for Hire. Jen. You rock. Let's chat again. And I want to see you at Cash Hovey and Friends November 19th at Film Fest LA at LA Live. Oh, thanks, man. We'd love to be there. You got it, man. Thank you so much for rocking out with me and Jan Lucanis today. You are on air with Cash. <laughs>